Hi, I'm Rody. I'm on DevRel at Google. I want to show you how easy it is to build with anti-gravity and Flutter. Here, I can paste a prompt for an app that is a meal tracker using Go Router and Signals. Both of these things should rely on the model's ability to go and retrieve information, especially for the step of using SQLite for storage, using something other than the default package that people go to. So let's go ahead and begin and see how it works. One of the cool things about anti-gravity is it creates a plan with a list of steps that it's going to tackle. And one of the really cool UX pieces that we have is the ability to comment on each individual piece if we want to change how that implementation is carried out and just to be able to give a little bit of that feedback back to the model. So here's the implementation plan. Again, like I said, you can comment using this icon down here. And already it looks like it's picked up the correct signals package correct Go router using SQLite 3 and everything else that we were planning on. It can run terminal commands for you without needing approval. Of course, you can customize all of this in settings. It's also really cool how it's able to tackle all of these tasks. It'll do them one by one and check them off as it goes, making it really easy for you to pick back up where you left off and to keep the model on track. In this demo, we're using Gemini 3 Pro Preview. You can see at each step what it's done, the list of MCP servers if it's relevant, and also things like the implementation plan and tasks that you can always get back to. Because it's natively integrated, it's able to pick up on errors and other things from the LSP from the editor. And you can also use things like the Flutter extension if you want to add the MCP server directly. In this case, we already have Dart and Flutter installed as extensions. And because it has the same VS code like Marketplace, you can just find your favorite one and it should work here with no issue. We can see it's already starting to run the application, which should pop up shortly. So we did get an error, which is common sometimes when you need to set up CocoaPods, but as you can see, it's already jumping in and proactively fixing those issues for us. We can also open up and see the files it's created so far. Looks like we got our meal state, home screen, and our database itself. Cool, looks like it built successfully. And we have our application. So we can go ahead and say breakfast. Uh, we'll do 400, save a meal. And we got our item there can go ahead and see the calories, we can delete it. And that's all using SQLite. Awesome, so this is just a sneak peek at anti-gravity, but hopefully you can take this a lot further. It makes it really easy now for you to make subsequent changes by asking the model. And when you're happy with everything, you can just run accept changes, which will save all of the things to disk. You can go in here, you can do accept, or we can go down here and do accept all, which would you know accept all the changes. Um, I personally love this feature because you can undo individual files or kind of piecemeal what you really want. And I think it makes uh, working like that a lot easier. It looks like it's finished through the rest of the tasks and the implementation, and we have a working app. All right, that's it for this one. Thanks, bye.